Hey there, welcome to Tech Post Guides. My name is Ravi and in this video, I'm going to show you how I built a tiny, small human presence sensor for my bedroom and also for my washroom. So I'm going to show you how it works in my bedroom. So what I've done is I've created this. I've built this under 500 rupees or you can say under $10. I've created this and this works like perfectly fine for my case. So the automation that I've created is when I come to my desktop, I want one of the light to light up, which is over my head. I'll just show you how it happens. So if I move towards my desktop, you can see all lights are off and only one light is on. Now, if I move away, you can see how seamlessly it works. So this is just an example. Now use cases are a lot many, uh, for example, beside lightning control and your fan control, you can also use them for security purposes. Uh, you can also use them for pet care or to monitor elderly people uh, for like their activities if they have fallen down. So you can like create automations to get alerts. You can also create automation for HVAC control. So if you are inside your room or your home, you want the HVAC to turn on and it should turn off if there is no human in your home, right? It should automatically turn off. Similarly, you can also use the sensor for sleep monitoring, like how much you move during your sleep. You can also track that with the help of this sensor. So there are a lot of use cases of this and you can create automations for whatever purpose you want to fulfill beside like currently I want the light control and my washroom to be controlled by these smart sensors. So those were the cases and there could be many more cases. For example, if you have a lawn, you're walking, you want the lights in front of you to turn on when you are moving towards and you want the lights behind you to turn off. So you can create that thing also with the help of these sensors and you can also install in your home on stairs. So yeah, let's move to the part where we uh, configure all of this. So first we'll connect the sensor. I have LD2420 and LD2410. The LD2420 is a motion sensor. It's more of a motion sensor. It can detect human presence, but then it can't detect micro motions. So if you want to uh, like, detect micro motions or like static presence also. So for example, if you're sitting in your room, you're still uh, or you're sleeping, it should be able to detect that you are there in the room, right? So your breathing, it, it can capture those micro movements also, your breathing and all. So it will be able to detect. So LD2410 is very cheap and very uh, good millimeter wave sensor, radar sensor, 24 gigahertz. So you can get that. So once you have the sensor, you can use any microcontroller. I'm using ESP32 C3, super mini because of its size and its compactness. So yeah. So what we'll do is we'll connect the two wires coming from this LD2410 sensor or the LD2420 sensor to the uh, five volt and ground pin. And then I'll connect the TX and RX pin of my sensor to pin number three and four on my microcontroller. Once these are connected and shouldered, you can shoulder them or you can use jumper wire also. Uh, once they are connected, all you need to do is flash the firmware. Now to do that, you will have to go to your home assistant and make sure you have ESP home installed. Then you have to open ESP home and there you have to create a project to add a new device. So click on new device, click on continue, name your device and then click next. Here you have to select uh, the port which you are using. For our case, we are using ESP32 C3. So we'll select that and this project will be created. Next, we'll click skip and then we'll click edit button. Now here we have to update the Wi-Fi SSID and the password. This is very important and you should do this first. And then we'll move to the next part where we have to paste uh, the code, I'll provide you the code. The link is in the description. You can copy it from there. You have to paste that code just below captive portal. You can use right click or you can use control V or command V to paste the code. Once the code is pasted, all you have to do is click install. Once you have clicked install, you have to then click on plug into this computer and this will start compiling the firmware uh, which we have coded right. So once that is done, it might take a while or uh, like a minute or two, and then you will see a link download project. 
you have to click on that and this will download the project uh, which is basically the firmware file dot bin file in case you get any warning on your browser just ignore it and click on keep and download it once this is downloaded uh, what you have to do is click on open esp home web and here you have to click on connect now before you click on connect make sure your microcontroller is connected to your pc using usb cable so connect that first and then click on connect here you will see your device select that click on connect again and then you have to click on install now here you will have to choose the firmware file once you have selected that click on install and this will start installing the firmware on your microcontroller device whichever you have selected in case you are using esp32 c3 super mini that's fantastic because it's very tiny and i'm going to share the link of the 3d printable file which you can print and arrange all of this inside that case so once this firmware is flashed you have to go back to esp home and there the project that you have created it should show online right here so if it's online you can click on logs and this will tell you if everything is working and you can see everything is working here and so we can go to settings and devices and services and here you will find your new device which is auto discovered so you have to click on the configure button which is shown just below your device click on submit and then choose uh, the room uh, wherever you have installed if you have created those rooms if you have not i recommend you that you create rooms and then select if you haven't you can select any for now later you can change this so once you have selected the room just uh, go ahead and open the esp home and there you will find your device and the devices so we have created bedroom presence detection so we'll click on that and there we are able to see moving distance and a lot of other information these we can adjust accordingly so in the next video maybe i'll tell you how you can uh, tweak this or tune this but for now we'll focus on this moving distance thing since i'm using ld2420 for this present sensor in my bedroom so i'm going to show you this but if you have configured ld2410 or any other sensor which can even detect micro motion uh, you will find other data also which is like uh, radar still energy which uh, basically captures uh, information about still objects still human presence right when you're sitting still so and lot of other information as you can see here this is ld2410 and you can also adjust thresholds also so lot of information here on ld12410 but uh, on ld2420 i think this is one of the best sensors and it's also very very cheap so you can instead of getting pir sensor or microwave radar sensor you can invest in this so you can click on this then click on the gear icon and copy the entity id now you are ready to create automations as i showed you earlier the automation that i created was of whenever i come closer to my system or whenever i sit on my system to start work uh, i want the light to turn on i have shown you that and i have also told you about uh, the other cases and you can look for many other possibilities uh, according to your surroundings you know so yeah and do share those with us through comments down below so yeah this was all in this video i hope you learned something new today and uh, please subscribe to my channel and like this video i'll be uploading a lot more videos uh, on diy and home automation smart home automation so make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay updated so yeah thank you for watching this video have a great day i'll see you in the next